Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today and welcome to this product demo of Sensu Cloud. My name is Nicholas Zarnik and I'm a customer success manager here at Sensu. I work with our customers to develop workflows and document best practices for using Sensu Cloud. And I'm excited to be here today to show you our platform. So agenda items for today, I'll give a brief overview of Sensu Cloud and then I'll jump into the product demo and show you some key features of the platform. And after that, we'll have some time to answer any questions before we close out the session. So to put it briefly, Sensu Cloud makes 3D point cloud data fully cloud compatible, which allows it to be viewed, shared, distributed, and collaborated on from anywhere on many devices. The core technology behind Sensu Cloud is the ability to turn 3D point cloud data into a very high resolution 3D mesh using our proprietary compression technology. This compression reduces the file size of the data by about 10 to 20 times and allows us to stream the data very fast in a typical web browser. This technology also attains the accuracy of the original laser scan data and the inverse transformation of this compressed data is also possible. So we can transform the 3D mesh back to its point cloud format which is completely unique to our technology. And this technology is embedded into the Syncthu Cloud Platform, a collaborative environment that supports BIM workflows and gives all stakeholders across various project teams direct access to reliable 3D as-built data. With Syncthu Cloud, you have the ability to enrich this data with annotations and measurements and to extract meaningful information from the data by connecting to other platforms like BIM 360, which is now part of Autodesk Build. Sensu Cloud is serving two main digital twin industries. Industry 4.0, which includes sectors like oil and gas, manufacturing, and automotive. And then there's BIM and construction, including architecture, engineering, and facility management. With Sensu Cloud, we have three key value propositions relating to the digital twin industries that we serve. Starting with the platform for reality data, being able to view, share, and collaborate on mesh-based reality data that's much easier to interpret and democratizes this type of as-built information for all project teams. The second is around quality control and quality assurance. Being able to compare the as-built conditions coming from your laser scans to your BIM or CAD models and making decisions based on this information. This is where integrations with BIM 360, for example, really come into play. And the third involves strong foundations for everything around asset management. Being able to automatically detect real world assets in your scan data and being able to connect those assets to other digital twin or IoT platforms. In terms of reality data workflows, it's all about connecting the field work and the office work. You start with your source point cloud files and use our Sensu Connect application to run a point cloud to mesh transformation locally on your PC. At this point, everything uploaded to Sintu Cloud is mesh-based, allowing you to stream the data and to enrich the data with things like measurements and annotations. To distribute the data, team members can either run mesh to point cloud transformations to obtain point cloud format files, or they can export the data in various 3D mesh file formats. There's also the ability to export project metadata in the form of reports or BIM collaboration format files and projects can also be published to a shared viewer for presenting to broader audiences. In terms of integrations, you can connect to BIM 360 to pull in your BIM and CAD models, and you can push notes and issues out to BIM 360 and other partner platforms like BIM Track and Procore as well. Ultimately, Sintu Cloud is all about streaming high resolution mesh-based reality data to a wide range of devices unlocking the value of true and reliable as-built data for all team members. And currently, over 200 companies are realizing the value of Sintu Cloud. We're proud to share that over 1 million scans have been uploaded to the platform so far, which translates to roughly 2 billion square feet of scan data being hosted on Sintu Cloud. And we see these numbers as strong indicators of scalability and maturity in our platform. So with that, Let's move into the product demo, where I'll show some key features of Sintu Cloud.
I've logged into Sentu and have my Sentu dashboard open in my Chrome browser. I'll open this Power Mechanical Room project and walk through some key features of the platform. We can see there's already model and scan data loaded in the project. So I'll click on the 3D View tab to view the 3D data. And a quick shout out to Nor Technologies for providing laser scan data in today's demo. By default, the view will open in 3D navigation mode, so I can zoom, pan, and rotate around the project data. I can also use the Project Explorer to toggle on or off various work zones that have been set up in the project. So I can turn our design model on or off. I can toggle all of our scans on or off. And I can control visibility of individual work zones as well. I can also use the work zone tool to control the visibility of individual scans. I'll turn all of our scan work zones back on and click on a scan to enter scan mode. By default, when entering scan mode, we'll see the panoramic image captured by the scanner at this location. We can change our display setting from 2D panoramic to 3D surface to see the high resolution 3D mesh that's been created from the source point cloud file. We can navigate scan to scan by clicking the icons at each location. Or use the navigation map to select a scan to jump to. And because this is all 3D data, we can do things like take measurements. So I can open the measurement tool and snap a quick measurement. And we can also lock the axis of measurement to take quick clearance checks. We can toggle on our model to see the design data overlaid onto the as-built scan. And as part of our QAQC process, we can use the comparison tool to compare all scans to all models and activate the visual difference setting to display a colored heat map of items either within or out of the specified level of tolerance that we've set. Turning on the visual check tool allows us to isolate just the scans or just the model and verify issues that need to be flagged. So we can turn the visual difference tool back on and flag this handrail, for example, using the annotation tool. We can set this as an issue, give it a title, Give it a label and a severity level. Set a due date. And add a description. And assign it to a specific team member. And then click create. And we can continue this process of visually checking and flagging discrepancies between the as-built data and our design model. So we can see there's an issue with this pipe here. And we can see that the pipe is missing. 
so we can add annotation. Make it an issue, give it a title, label it's modeling, severity level, due date, description, assign it to a team member, and click create. Any notes, issues, and measurements that have been made in the project can also be viewed in the report tab. Here we can view the items and filter by name, label, user, or activity. We can also export this data as a PDF, which can be distributed and viewed online. We can export this data as a BIM collaboration format file. And we can also connect to other platforms like BIM 360 and push issues out directly from Sintu. And here's the issue inside of our BIM 360 project. Scan data can also be exported out of Sintu in point cloud file format or in 3D mesh file format. In the data tab, we can select our scans work zone to export all scan data, either as a structured point cloud file or an unstructured point cloud file. We can also select an individual group of scans to export at the same time. And we can even export single scan files. The crop tool can also be used to export point cloud files and 3D mesh files from Sintu. In the overview map, we can isolate the scan data and rotate our view as needed before we define our crop region. Next, we can open the crop tool and adjust our crop boundaries to the area of interest. And once that's done, you can click Add to save the crop region. We can open the 3D view to verify the crop region or to make any adjustments as needed. Then it can be exported either as an unstructured point cloud file or as a 3D mesh file. With Sintu Cloud, it's easy to share and distribute reality data. And it's also possible to publish the project as a shared viewer for standalone presentation. We can select a view and display mode as a starting point and click the share icon to bring up the shared view dialog. Here we can specify things like password protection, expiration date for the link, project data to include, and even custom branding. We can generate a unique sharing URL that can be copied turn into a QR code or sent via email. And the result is a shared viewer experience for stakeholders to view the project. For example, I can view the measurements that have been created in the project. And I could take additional measurements.
This feature is all about giving teams a quick and simple way to democratize their project data. When it comes to viewing this mesh-based reality data, we also have the ability to stream the data to VR headsets like the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive Pro, and Oculus Quest using a WebVR enabled browser. Using VR motion controllers, you can navigate scan to scan, take point to point measurements, and toggle display modes, as well as any design models in the project. Also in development is a Sintu SDK for integrating Sintu into your custom desktop applications. And we're also hard at work building plugins that allow you to stream your Sintu projects into real-time engines like Unity and Unreal, opening the door for rich, interactive real-time experiences built around your as-built scan data. And last but not least, I want to show you where we're looking to go with our asset management features. If I open the Assets Work Zone, we can see that this project contains asset data. So I can open the 3D view and bring up the Assets tool to identify and locate real-world assets in our as-built scan data. This feature is still in early stages of development, but we really see this capability as a way to seamlessly integrate Sintu Cloud with other IoT and digital twin platforms, with vast potential for expanded business opportunities. So that concludes the product demo portion of this session. We hope you found this presentation interesting and valuable and want to say thank you again for attending. We'll use the remaining time to answer any questions you may have.